Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. Um, I am in my portals of prayer for 2022, and the first homework assignment is to read Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath been or before ordained that we should walk in them. Okay, and the next one is Psalm 40. So I don't have that. I didn't do that one, but I can get to it pretty quick in here. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and I heard, heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. And he respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord of my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in an order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will. O my God, yea, the law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in a great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth with the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me. O Lord, let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Amen. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of mine head. Therefore my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed of confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. No doubt. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Amen. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that they say, unto me, aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. That was priceless. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2, verse 10. Today's title is God's Workmanship. I've been talking about that daily because what he makes, he makes us. Why do you feel the need to change it? Why aren't you happy with what he gave you? You gotta deep you gotta dig deep into your soul to figure that out. And you need to talk to him about it. Just saying. What made you not happy with your appearance? Is it is it because you're overeating? Is it because you've been mean and hateful to others and you're 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 unrecognizable to others? Because God's justice is written all over your face? Is your ugly inside matching your ugly outside? Well, I've never been an ugly person. And my 
insides definitely match my outsides. I have always had a heart of gold, and I have always loved thy neighbor as thyself. And anybody that says otherwise is a big fat liar. Period. The end. So God's workmanship. Let's see what this has to do. What they say. For many years, a potter in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, has given a vivid presentation of Psalms 40 before each performance of the great passion play. Using a lump of clay with a merry pit, he throws a clay pot as he explains how God uses all the events in our lives to form us into his clay vessel. As the potter finishes, he points out the most useful vessel he has made. It is the clay tray that holds the water he needs to form all the other pots he has created. Paul affirms that we are saved by grace alone and not by anything we have done. The credit for our salvation belongs only to Jesus. He lived, died, and rose to restore us as the people of God. We are God's gracious masterpiece. He forms us in our mother's womb. He calls us by name in baptism. He shapes up, shapes us with the experiences of life. He does it so people see him through our attitudes and actions. His love for people is reflected in our love for people. His forgiveness is shown as we forgive others. As God's people, we display his grace in all that we do in life. Lord Jesus, thank you for making me what I am. By your grace, help me to do many good works that honor you with my life. Amen. That was fantastic. I'm just saying, be happy with you. If you're not happy with your, with what's going on inside, you think your outside's going to reflect it? What's going to bring that sparkle back to your eyes? That little twinkle? you got to figure it out. And the best place you can start is right here in this little book. And if you don't have one, let me know and I'll be happy to send you one. Just saying. Just saying. Or you can pick one up at the dollar store. If inflation hits, to book in a quarter. <laughs> Just saying. I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to do my contest of for um, decorating Bible, King James Version. I haven't decided yet. But they'll let me know when I'm supposed to do that. Thought it was going to be Mother's Day, but I had too many things, too many irons in the fire, and too many other things going on that that was not in his plan. So I have to let him lead, and I follow. So that might be a great suggestion to you. Talk to him. Make a call to Jesus today. Just saying. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. I have more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Have a great day, and don't forget to water your plants. <laughs>